Oh, here they are. They're mesobarbarous, so they're nut and seed eating colony. That brown stuff is like a protein stuff that they come with the cage. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that, but I'll put it out there just in case. Uh, you can see the queen is the massive one that is absolutely massive in the chest tube about here. They are currently, I've been watching them for about an hour now, going into the sandwich and pulling out sand is, is, is I tell you, quite fascinating to watch. And I have to say thank you to Mikey Bustos of uh, Ants Canada for all these videos and, and getting recommended by YouTube and then just watching them solid for like a month and decide to get my own colony. Uh, that bit of cotton wool is what came in that tube. I just put, you know, set all this up. It's quite a nice little little cage, to be honest. It has like the thing at the back. I've got a bit of card that you can't really see. I don't really want to move them much. At the back of that sandwich, just to make it darker, and I'm, I made this hole with a bit of string. So hopefully they'll just dig a little bit because I think it got a bit blocked and then go into this bit where that little extra bit is, which would be pretty cool. But we'll see what happens. The only thing I'm not too sure about, and it doesn't say in the instruction booklet or anything that I have read about the species, um, do they need heat? I mean, I'm going to get a 5 watt heat mat and heat one area just to see if if that's what they like I'm gonna water I think this end of the nest next I did the middle just to let the water spread and you can see where it's dark where it's gone down but I don't know I'm just I'm absolutely fascinated by watching them pick up a bit of sand and then move it out and they've been moving these seeds you can see them like this ant there that's going off. He's been moving seeds and look, you can see him look, carrying a bit of sand and it's pretty cool. And it was just like one of them started doing it and then just everybody started joining in and it's very good. The queen has moved. She did come out to the edge of the test tube and then went straight back in. I'm keeping like this bit light for now I will, I've got some red paper on order that will go on the front of the sandwich just to make that dark and this foraging area will stay light and you know with the the room light I guess this is it is very it's like hypnotic watching these little guys forge around this is the thing I got it from Ant House at yes I would have got the Ant Canada stuff but paying shipping to the UK is just ridiculous so this cost me in total about 60 pounds and that's not with everything that I've got like um, the the red film and the heat mat and a heat mat controller to keep it at one temperature I think that will be good so then I can up the temperature down it you know depending if they like the heat or not but yeah what are people's views on this liquid protein stuff I mean they haven't even gone near it I mean I've made a little ramp of sand so they can get up onto that platform but they haven't done that yet But anyway, this is getting a bit long.